Well, it's been a long time since I've built this plane and I wanted to do a part two after a couple years and show you how it's been holding up and kind of give you some more details as people have been asking and wondering what I've used for different parts and want to do some of these details. So anyway, here it is. It's taking quite a beating on the front end here, as you can see. Had a few nose dives and crashes, considering I'm not necessarily the best pilot. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start here with the wing. Show you guys some things that I changed, and some things that I shouldn't have changed <laughs> actually. And first, it's this ailerons here. Now, I switched to this like this method of putting the wire through some tubing and running it down here to the aileron. Don't do this. <laughs> in my first video I showed how I had the servo setting here and then with two kind of like arms right here. That would have been much better. I just didn't want to go have to buy those little, you know, horns that you put on that you can get for like a buck. I didn't want to have to order any. And I already had all these parts and so I decided to just do it like this. It does not work very well. And the reason I say that is it's just it's flimsy and it just I didn't be it, I wasn't able to turn very well there's just lots of problems with it and so this plane was an awesome experience to build yeah was it functional well it did fly but it wasn't the greatest flyer and I could make it a lot better if I were to change some things like redo the wing and things of that sort the fuselage was awesome and has held up great the the rudder has been great. Um, the elevator, all those types of things have all held up really well. Even through some of my little crashes I've had. This is how I did my landing gear. This was just clothes hanger. Um, bent it and put it up in there. Just some cheap tires. And then... I used some really cheap small servos in here and ran a hot wire all the way through the back. And they poked up right here and worked out pretty well. The motor had plenty of power and torque. Got this off Hobby King. I think it's like the cheapest one I can get. Uh, let's see, what is that? Hobby King Donkey. I don't know, ESC combo, 30 amp ESC, fit right in there, there's plenty of power and juice, I ran it off a 3S 2200 milliamp hour LiPo battery, I'm pretty sure is what I was using, haven't flown this for a while, but anyway, just wanted to do this quick update, if you have any qu other questions, I'm more than happy to answer them, I'm going to leave links in the description to all the various different parts and servos and components that I used, that way, if you're interested, you can click on those. I've been spending my time mostly doing drones lately. And I have some other projects that I've been doing. So if you're interested in those, please subscribe. And you can uh, follow along with all the different things I'm building from home. And anyways, hope you've enjoyed. And if you have built one of these, like, let me know. I'd love to, to hear or see a picture of uh, what you guys have done and the success you've had.